Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I have always wanted to see the Federal Communications Commission or the ITU, International Telecommunication Union, get together and create a ham radio band in the very low frequency range, that is below 30 kilohertz. Some say it's 3 to 30 kilohertz, some say it's 10 to 30 kilohertz. But in any case, I'd like to see a ham radio band created down there because an interesting form of propagation occurs. The ionosphere reflects all signals at all angles, regardless, even straight up and down, vertical. Nothing escapes into space. I'm not sure which layer it is that does this. I believe that much of the time it's the D layer, delta, at only about 30, or 40, 30 to 50 miles altitude. I don't know how many kilometers that is, maybe 50 kilometers to 80 kilometers or something along those lines. But that propagation can occur over long distances, provided that you have sufficient power and sufficiently large antennas to have reasonable efficiency. But it's a challenging and fascinating band to listen on, and very low frequency converters are easy to come by, easy to build. You can Google on VLF converter very low frequency converter or you can uh, just do a generalized search and see what you come up with. You can also search the ARRL publications or contact them uh, at their technical information service on articles that may inform you uh, as to how to build one of these and you can use a regular radio to listen to these frequencies. It's just a simple up converter. And uh, I did that when I was a teenager. I used my Drake T4X transmitter in AM mode, plugged the antenna into the microphone jack, and listened to the AM sidebands. The Drake T4X did not have an audio filter or an RF filter when used on AM as it does on single sideband, SSB. So all of those signals showed up and I heard many fascinating phase shift keyed signals and I also heard WWVL at 20 kilohertz. Uh, and uh, it's very interesting to listen down there and I sure wish that someday we ham radio operators can transmit down there too, however low the power is. We'll rise to the challenge somehow. We always have, haven't we? Exploration, that's what it's all about. The world below 30 kilohertz. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, saying 73, and so long, which at that frequency would have to be CW in my native fist, translating, of course, to so long, di da di da di da. -di 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 -di.